one, two. What's going on? Another one, let's get it. We're up at the football field. We're gonna talk some ball. We got another versus round nine. Marshall Falk versus LaDainian Tomlinson. Y'all keep the fire coming with the versus. Check it out. Deion Sanders versus Rod Woodson. Charles Woodson versus Champ Bailey. Rodney Barber versus Ty Law. Richard Sherman versus Darrell Rivas. Ryan Dawkins versus John Lynch. I keep the fire coming. We got two of my favorite running backs, all purpose backs. These two guys were at their best. It was no one close. These two guys were at their best. It was no one close. All purpose backs. Marshall Falk versus LaDainian Tomlinson. We're at the field. We're going to talk some ball. You know I ain't following the rot. Break down their career. Then we're going to compare some of their attributes. Round nine versus Marshall Falk versus LaDainian Tomlinson. So, so lock in. Far start to pick the park to tire with me. Slash purpose to channel. Super content. Like this kind of about sports and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, Marshall Falk. Start with Marshall Falk. Draft in 1994, second overall out of San Diego State. You know Marshall Falk could do it all. Could decide what was his best season, whether it was 1999 or 2000. 2000, he had 26 touchdowns, 18 on the ground, eight receiving. 1999, he had 1,000 rushing yards, over 1,300 rushing yards, and over 1,000 receiving yards. That's a rare stat. That's rare. So, couldn't decide. Couldn't decide. Marshall Falk, Super Bowl champ. He can do it all. Underrated blocker as well. Marshall Falk can pick up the blitz. He can block out the backfield for his quarterback. Marshall Falk over 100 rushing touchdowns for his career. Over 36 receiving touchdowns. Played 12 seasons. Five with the Colts. Seven with the Rams. Marshall Falk. Both of these guys, you know, Hall of Fame guys. We know that. He's one of the best running backs ever. Yeah, just some stats on Marshall Falk. We'll break down his career. Then you got LT Ladani and Townsend, drafted in 2001 out of TCU, fifth overall. Ladani and Townsend, he could do it all as well. Both of these guys, like I say, were all purpose back. Ladani Townsend had a season where he had 28 touchdowns on the ground, 31 total, had three receiving that year. I think it was 2006. Ladani Townsend he could do it all. Didn't have the same supporting cast as Marshall Falk, but he carried his team as far as he could with Danny and Tomlinson. Made the goal line, front flip, famous, you know, LT. Then he get in the end zone, flip the ball. LT has some swag, both of these guys have some swag. LT, over 145 rushing touchdowns in his career. He could do it all. Both of these guys played with two teams. LT played with the Chargers and the Jets. He ended his career with the Jets, with Danny and Tomlinson. These guys, like I say, all purpose backs. All purpose backs. And let's just get to their attributes now. Let's get to their attributes now. As far as, you know, running the rock, catching out the backfield. Like I say, these guys were all purpose backs. So Marshall Falk, LT, start with, you know, speed and power. Who had the speed and the power? Whew. LT had a little more power. Had a little more power, lower center of gravity. Marshall Falk had that sneaky power though. You, he'll truck you, Marshall Falk. But Marshall Falk had the speed advantage. You put Marshall Falk on that turf, it's lights out. Give him a screen or a draw, or just a simple handoff out the backfield. Marshall Falk take it the distance on that turf. He's a threat to always take it the distance, but greatest show on turf, we know what Marshall Falk could do, what the Rams could do on that turf. LT has some speed too. It's close, it's close. LT get the slight advantage on the power. Marshall Falk get the slight advantage on the speed. You put Marshall Falk on that turf, it's lights out. Both of these guys have breakaway ability, though. Both of these guys have breakaway ability, though. So, got to keep that in mind. Got to keep that in mind. As far as catching out the backfield receiver, no one did it like Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk get the edge on the, you know, as far as the balance and being an all-purpose back. LT second. Second, though. He's close. No one could do it like Marshall Falk, but LT close as far as catching out the backfield, catching screens, and being able to take it the distance. LT is close. LT is close. As far as breaking tackles, let's talk about breaking tackles. Who have better, you know, break them arm tackles? You ain't gonna tackle me with no arm tackle. It's close. I go, it's a wash on this one, because LT, he had low center of gravity. You wasn't gonna get him with no arm tackles. And Marshall Falk, he was elusive. 
He was elusive. He can cut on the dial, stop on the dial. Cut like Barry Sanders, Marshall Falk. He cut like Barry Sanders. The LT, he was elusive as well, man. He was elusive as well. Low to the ground, hard to tackle. I give it a watch. I give it a watch. Both of these guys, it's hard to, no, I, no, no watch. Marshall Falk get a slight edge. In that open field, you did not want to see Marshall Falk in that open field. You did not want to see Marshall Falk in that open field. I was going to give it a watch, but no. Not want to see Marshall Falk in that open field. I get a slight edge to Marshall Falk as far as breaking tackles. LT was no slouch, though. LT was no slouch. But overall, I give the slight edge to Marshall Falk because he could run a rock similar to LT. You know, he can get 25, 30 carries a game as well. But catching out the backfield, he was best running back we've seen catching out the backfield, Marshall Falk. Best running back catching out the field we've ever seen, Marshall Falk. So I give Marshall Falk the slight edge on his verses, but as far as pure running, LT got it. But if we're talking balanced running back and all purpose, if you want a pure runner and guy that can possibly get you 500 yards to 1,000 yards receiving, Marshall Falk was that guy. So he gets the edge on this one in this verses. Marshall Falk wins this verses, round nine. But let me know what y'all think. Y'all something down in the comments. You know I ain't gonna stop. I ain't following the rock. Keep the fire coming. We at the field. I love it. This is what I do. Comment, like, subscribe. That's so what you can help us share the video. You know, I ain't gonna stop knocking up on out. Let's get it.